because I was in so much pain. And this is the first time I'm not in pain. The symptoms, they say, are debilitating. I just dropped to the floor. Fibroids are non-cancerous muscle tumors that grow in or on the uterus. 26 million women across the United States likely have fibroids. Probably about half don't even know it. Why they form is still unknown, but what doctors do know is that they can wreak havoc on a woman's body, causing heavy, painful periods, fertility issues, and problems with pregnancy. There can be one, there can be 25, from the size of a peanut to the size of a basketball. Depending on the severity, treatment options may vary. Some simply take birth control pills, others hormone blocking injections, or a procedure to block blood flow to the uterus. But because fibroids typically continue to grow until a woman reaches menopause, many opt for surgery, says Dr. Pyle Shaw with Holy Name Medical Center. And ultimately to having a hysterectomy. Although still in development, several oral medication options have shown promise in improving symptoms and even shrinking fibroids. Hi, pretty girl. Gina Bullender didn't even know she had a fibroid until she became pregnant with baby Bella. They told me it was the size of a softball. Fueled by a pregnancy hormonal surge, Bullender's fibroid grew so big, the pressure caused intense pain down her legs and ultimately forced her to have a C-section. The fibroid was blocking the birth canal. At just 31, she wants another child, but knows potential complications and scar tissue from surgery to remove a fibroid could impact future pregnancies. Well, that makes me feel excited <laughs> that there might be something other than surgery. The new drugs are still in clinical trials, but the first FDA approval may come as early as this spring. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.